Those vegan guys. I thank you. Well, hello, my loves. It's Tuesday night and the first night of a brand new meals vlog. Random one tonight, actually. Um, it being the first day of my employment tribunal today, which I think I'm allowed to say that much think, and nothing more. Yes, if you um, know, you know. So I won't say anything more other than it's been the first day today and both Jason and I are quite exhausted. Um, so I've just done a Linda McCartney burger on a Tesco's ciabatta with uh, mustard, salad, tomato, mayo, some uh, Via Life Epic Mature cheese and ketchup. And um, you remember the uh, rocket that I bought for last week's pizzas, the French bread pizzas? Well, I've used uh, the uh, last bag of rocket that we had and some spinach to make another green pesto. So this one is uh, rocket, spinach, extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice, uh, walnuts and think that's it yeah i think that's it uh, so that is what we're having for our tuesday night dinner why don't you have a taste of the pesto mr bromley's well the pasta. oh yeah the pasta and i've done enough pasta for us for lunch tomorrow as well that was the whole reason for doing it so we could have it as a side tonight and have it maybe cold tomorrow for lunch flavor some mm. great nice one yeah uh so there you go my loves <sighs> tuesday night's dinner Burger and pesto pasta. Carb overload. And I love it. Get in my face. <laughs> Bye, loves. Hello, my loves. It's uh, Wednesday evening. Uh, I had to look at Jason then. Second, um, second day of our uh, meals vlog. And the second day of my employment tribunal. And Jason's face says exactly what that's doing to both of us. <laughs> Is it? Well, no, you're smiling now. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Um, so another uh, freezer yellow sticker item. This is the uh, Plant Pioneers Spicy No Meat Pizza from Sainsbury's. We got it for 74p. It's been in the um, freezer for a few weeks. I just thought it, it's so much quick to whack in the, the uh, oven and have a lovely, beautiful salad with it with some... Um, believe that is Morrison's own Caesar style vegan dressing, the last of it. Nice. Uh, would you like to give it a shitting, Jason? Ah, I shall, yes. I I'll, I'll, people do like to see you do the shitting. I'll also say, I think the uh, recommended retail price on the Sainsbury's pizza is £3.50 um, and if you haven't tried it, it is well worth it because it's up there with some of the best. Yeah, it's, I mean it's worth it even at £3.50 we were very lucky to get it for the price we did. Uh, Marvellous, Jason, thank you. And then he puts them on your plate and I can finish. Look at that on a beautiful plate of yellow sticker pizza and <laughs> shitted salad. <laughs> oh, go on, I might as well wait. As, as, you're, as you're being such a gentleman, what a gentleman you are sometimes, Mr. Bromley. Thank you, babes. There we go. You're a good man. And there you go. Yellow sticker freezer pizza and a lovely nice fresh salad. Bye loves. Hello my loves. Uh, these meal vlogs have not been easy to make this week. It has to be, it has to be said. Uh, normally I'd be saying, yeah, it's Thursday, Jay's finished work now, but he's been by my side uh, all of this week. Today has been day three of the employment tribunal and it's been no more easy than the other two days. Truth be known, has it, Jason? That's fair to say. We're both drained. We're both... We're I'll both, always smile. Yeah, I know. We're both drained. We've both been emotional. Uh, but we're having a nice meal. So we're having some simple boiled potatoes, skins on. Some tofu smoked with two of our own onions from down at the allotment and some peas and i thought this evening as we have been kindly sent these um sauces this is the uh tahini from dressini <laughs> can we can we see you properly please there we go uh this is the garlic and herb one do you want to it, I, i'm thinking about it for my taters Yes. Well, that's exactly that. that's what I'm going to go for. I think. You want me to just liberalist? Liber, liber well, I would have a taste first, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh yes. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 
Look at some finger. Oh my god, pour it over everything. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Oh, oh, that's really good. No, that's actually really good, isn't it? Yeah. So it's just, mmm, it's quite zesty. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pour liberally, I think. Yeah. Yeah, watch me, watch me also do it. Yeah. Um, you can use these dressings for, as a salad dressing, as um, a marinade, as a, there are so many ways to use them. But that flavour, honestly, tahini, obviously you get that straight away. Lemon, garlic, herbs, salt and spices. It's absolutely beautiful, man. Well, there you go. Well done, Dracini, and thank you for sending us these sauces. They have a reasonably short shelf life, though it's like that has to go in the fridge now and has to be consumed within a week. Um, but I think we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that going on a salad. I can see that making a pasta salad on potato. Yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Agreed. That's lovely. Uh, so there, there's our night. Do you like it? <laughs> uh, so there you go. Um, uh, boiled potato skins on, smoked tofu, onions and peas, and on the potatoes, dressini tahini. I'll check them out on uh, Instagram, at dressini, uh, or wherever else you might look. And do excuse us now while we shove this in us faces and prepare for the final day of the Employment Tribunal. And I'll let you know the conclusion as soon as we know. Bye, loves! Well, hello, you utterly beautiful people. Um, I, I'm sounding far more cheerful because it's Friday and the Employment Tribunal is over. Although we won't uh, know the conclusion for... Um, I don't know how long it will take. Uh, it could have possibly been today, but... Um, it's going to be later. And I said to Jason, you know what? Can we have a takeaway? And I can't think of anywhere better to go than Lily's. If you haven't seen our uh, Lily's vlog, our first time eating out in about 18 months, I'll link it up there now. But uh, So this was inspired by that. So we've got these. This is like our staff. Nice veg samosa each, mm. and this lovely vegan mint yogurt sauce they do there, of course. Thanks, Jay. Uh, we've got lemon rice, chips, um, tomato and aubergine curry, and smoked smoked tomato and aubergine curry, and um, uh, vegan paneer tikka masala. Yes. Uh, and a beautiful spicy naan bread. Yes. And we treated ourselves to some sweets as well because from the, honestly, they're so gorgeous from Lily's. I'd just like to add, I like to do this on my test test, so I'm just gonna say it here because I've noticed it. Lily's Indian vegetarian cuisine, creative Indian food at its best. And it really is, mm -hmm. isn't it? And this little lot cost us 28 quid. It's a bloody bargain, really, isn't it? I think it's, when you consider how the quality, how good oh, this I know, stuff is. Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I know, I oh. <laughs> know. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to shove this in us faces. Have a lovely chilled out night with some wine. This beautiful food. Some Indian sweets later. And lots of telly. Um, to all of you who've been incredibly supportive to us this week. Just with your kind comments. Thank you. Uh, we're going to shove this in us faces now. Whoa. Bye, loves. Oh, it's a woeful time. <laughs> We've fallen on hard times. Just bread. Bread. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> loves. It's Saturday. Uh, we've had a, a gorgeous day today. We've been over to see to Blackpool to see Jason's lovely sister Donna and her lovely husband David and their new beautiful baby boy Oliver. I do apologise. You, you've got to hold your nephew for the first time today, Jason. It's been a tonic, hasn't it? <laughs> hasn't it it's been, been a, lovely? It's been a, a special kind of tonic after yeah. um, a really tough week. Many of you are aware of it. We thanked you, but I will thank you again for all of the support and all of the kind words. It really has meant a lot. 
we're not on hard times at all. No, we're not. <laughs> we had uh, Donna and David put on a lovely vegan feast for us, didn't they? Unbelievable. Sandwiches, pies, sausage rolls, salad, cake, biscuits, crisps, and all of it vegan. And she gave birth two days ago? Three days Three ago. Three days ago. Three days ago on Wednesday. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we met beautiful baby Oliver. He's bloody adorable. He's just gorgeous. He is. And Donna and David are the they're perfect parents. So, we're just having an oven chip <laughs> and uh, Via Life Mature Cheese Sandwich. Just to kind of, you know, uh, like a, a light tea. Because we had so much lovely snackage at Donna and David's. So, there you go. That's our Saturday night tea. A chip and cheese butter. <laughs> hey, we're common as mutton. Do you know what? We don't care. We love it. <laughs> we love you guys and all. Thanks, thanks, like Jason said, and thanks again. Um, bye, loves. Well, hello, my loves. It's Sunday evening, and we did manage to get an allotment vlog done after all, didn't we, Bromus? We did. <laughs> a bit of one. <laughs> a bit of one. A bit of one, at least. Uh, and tonight, we're having... Um, I got two packets of these... Um, what are they called, Jason? I love to pack out as well. Plant Chef. Yeah, pl the Tesco Plant Chef Goujons, are they? Breaded meat free goujons. Yeah, breaded meat free goujons, and we got them for 44 p a pack. So I got two packs, and there's a four each for now for our dinner, and two each for our supper later on. Uh, some lovely potatoes done in the oven with some uh, bits of garlic there that you can see have gone black. But this is what it's all about, really. This is our first Patterson's Panache squash cut into segments and roasted in the oven Bromley <laughs> <laughs> would you like a little taste apparently you can eat the skin the flesh and the seeds so I've just topped it and tailed it sectioned it, roasted it can I just give a disclaimer this is not what I expected the Patterson's Panache to be like no we were expecting them to be like kind of orange inside like squad, like Butternut or but no, they're apparently more like courgette. So there you go, just a bit of roasted patty pan. It feels like potato a bit potato -y to me. Well, have a try. Tell us what you think. No salt and pepper on them or anything. nothing like a courgette <laughs> oh what a shame yeah no oh, but they're a good healthy vegetable and it's our first one roasted we'll whack a bit of salt and pepper on there and because this uh dressini sauce that we had a few nights ago the tahini uh garlic and herb one is uh, only has a seven day shelf life we're gonna have some of that uh, that's come from the fridge probably over everything um, so it's a bit of a beige meal on a Sunday, but there you go. Boo, Jason's back at work tomorrow. I miss you, my man. I miss you. <laughs> uh, dinner. Bye, loves. It's Jason's lunchtime taste tests. Well, hello. It's a Jason lunchtime taste test. Of course, you already know that because you've just seen and heard our wonderful little jingle. Uh, so, no adventure, no multiple times trying. I have the new Greg's uh, bean cheese with a Z and sausage uh, pasty bake. Uh, £1.60 from Greg's. Um, so, without further ado, I'm just going to dive straight in, give it a quick taste test. Um, I know uh, quite a few people in the vegan community have already tried this. Last week it wasn't going to happen for me, uh, but I'm quite pleased to have got my hands on this this morning. Uh, I have put it in the microwave and nuked it just for about 20 seconds. Uh, so, it was fresh out of the oven when I got it. So, just give it a try. This is it. This is what it looks like. There you go. Let's dive straight in. Mmm. 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 
Oh, yeah. Always love the Greg's pastry. Can't fault it. Predominantly beans coming through, which is, uh, that's me stating the absolute obvious there. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And the cheese is really, really nice. Let's get a bit of sausage. Mmm. And the sausage is great as well. Plenty of filling. Not scrimping on the filling at all. Really, really nice combo. Uh, good ratios as well, I think. You know, predominantly beans. But there's plenty of the vegan cheese in there. Seems to be plenty of the sausage in there. Um, I've already eaten half of it near enough. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Now I've eaten half of it. Okay. I'm not surprised. It's very, very good. £1.60. I think it's a really good price point as well. Um, I have said in previous vlogs, I feel as though the, uh, the vegan ham and cheese uh, baguette thing is perhaps a little over um, the price point but when you compare it to what's out there on the market when you look at what's available at M&S uh, the frozen meals the chilled meals um, this is a very very good price point and if memory serves I think you can get it as part of a meal deal at Greg's with a drink as well so what score would I give it I'm gonna give it a solid 9 out of 10 9 out of 10 it tastes great it's good value um, it's quick and simple, it's literally two seconds and you've got yourself a nice lunch. Uh, so I've got some other bits and bobs as well. For any of you who are slightly concerned that calorifically this may not be enough for me, um, I do appreciate your concern. I have got some other stuff to snack on, uh, some biscuits and some crisps uh, for later this afternoon. So anyway, I'll stop waffling on, I'm going to go and eat the rest of this. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this little taste test um, and uh, things are rapidly returning to normal on this channel uh, following our horrible week last week. Uh, so do take care and I will see you very soon. Well, hello my loves. It's Monday evening. It's been Jason's first day back at work today after a hell of a week last week. And uh, it's nice to get back to some actual cooking. And this is my Spanish chickpea and potato stew recipe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Which you'll find a vlog for, which I'll link up there now. Uh, and is also available as a recipe in our free ebook, Down to Earth Vegan. Available at thoseveganguys.com. Not made it for a while. We've, we had this a hell of a lot in winter, didn't we, Jason? Mm hmm. And we're having a muffin each and a couple of crackers because crackers with this stew is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very pleased to say that the white onion and the potatoes in this stew are from Plot 25. Yay! <laughs> um, so have a taste, Jay. Because Specifically from Utopia, these... Uh, these potatoes, yeah. I think we only got about seven. Uh, if you've seen the allotment vlog, you'll have already seen that. I'm trying to inspire most of you to make this stew, more of you to make this stew, because it is delicious, especially ending it with tahini and lemon juice. Mm. That just finishes it off gorgeous, doesn't it, Jay? It's so lovely. It really is. It's just a hug in a bowl. I think we've said it before. Yeah. And also, can I just say, if, you, what haven't, you, want? if you haven't downloaded our ebook, um, then please do so, because it's free. Yeah. So why not? Yeah, but it'd, it'd be rude not to, as some might say. Uh, so yes, this is my version of a classic uh, Spanish dish, chickpea and potato, potato stew. It's smoky and spicy and tomatoey, filled with potatoes and peppers and onions and chickpeas. Honestly, it's well worth making, so please mm. give it a shot. Um, I'm going to get this shoved in my face right now. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. Normal vlogging can recommence, kinda. <laughs> Bye, loves. <laughs>